Hello my busy bees and welcome back. Today we're talking about Christmas and we are next going to tell you the story of Jesus Christ. Well, what do we do on Christmas? Oh, I know. So, we give gifts. Mm -hmm. And next, don't forget about Santa. And next, please decorate your houses. And set up your Christmas tree, please. And next, and next we do prayer. We pray. And we sing songs and we do Bible, but the most thing that you will never forget of your life is celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ! Christ! Okay, I can start. Okay, and I'm going to be telling you the story of Jesus Christ. This takes us back a long time ago when a young woman lived in Nazareth and her name was Mary. And Mary, she was kind to others, and she loved God very much. And she was going to be married to Joseph soon. But one day when she was cleaning her house, an angel appeared to her, and the angel's name was Angel Gabriel. At first, Mary was scared. So then Angel Gabriel said, Mary, do not be scared. I have come here to bring you good news. You are going to be having a baby boy, and you must name him Jesus. And Jesus is the Son of God. So Mary, she was still scared. I mean, like, she never saw an angel in her life. So she was still scared. But then, when she finally calmed down, she asked the angel, like Angel Gabriel, Angel Gabriel, I get that I'm going to be having a baby boy, but how can it be so? I'm not even married to Joseph yet. I mean like, you have to marry somebody to have a baby. So she was like, yeah, I, like, I didn't even marry Joseph yet. So then Angel Gabriel said, Mary, everything will be all right. God can do anything. After Angel Gabriel said that, he disappeared. And Mary knelt down on the floor and said to God, God, I will do what you have chosen me to do. She told this good news to Joseph. But Joseph, he was also confused. So then when he went to sleep, an angel came to him in a dream and said, Joseph, do not be afraid and believe in Mary. Mary is right. When Joseph woke up, Joseph remembered the words which the angel had said, and he wasn't scared or confused anymore. After that, Mary and Joseph got married! Yay! And then the king of Nazareth, King Caesar, said for all his people to go back to their hometown because he wanted to count all the people in his kingdom. So Mary and Joseph had to go back to their hometown. So Joseph, was trying to look for a ride. And, like, Mary, Mary, she had baby Jesus in her tummy. So, Joseph was looking for a ride. But all he could find was one donkey. So he got the donkey, and then he thought about this. He said, Mary's going to be needing the donkey more than I do, because Mary's going to be in lots of pain. And Joseph put Mary on the donkey, and then they started their trip to Bethlehem. Oh, and just to let you know, Nazareth and Bethlehem, it's like a long way to get to Bethlehem, from Nazareth to Bethlehem. So it was like a pretty long trip. But when they came to Bethlehem, all the hotels were full. And then just when things seemed that they weren't gonna move anymore and hopes were lost, a man felt bad for Joseph, Mary, and he said, this is not the best place to stay for the night, but it'll keep you warm and you'll be safe in there for the night. 
and the place was called a stable where he puts all the animals. Mary and Joseph, they kneeled down and prayed to God and thanked God for helping them have a place at least for the night and keeping them safe. So then they went into the stable and since there was so much hay to lay on, Joseph made a little manger and then when baby Jesus was born, Joseph put baby Jesus in the manger and what else? Baby Jesus was born and when baby Jesus was born, Joseph put some hay in the manger and Mary put baby Jesus in the manger. And after that, God put a shining star in the sky. So meanwhile, some shepherds were taking care of their flock of sheep. And then some angels appeared to the shepherds and sang a song. Glory to God in the highest, peace to the people on earth. the group and said do not be afraid a new king has been born and he is lying in a manger and he will save us all so then the shepherds they knew what they had to do they started spreading the news to everybody and then all the shepherds they went to baby Jesus and gave him gifts on the east side of Bethlehem Three wise men were there, and they saw the star which God had put in the sky. And since they were wise men, they knew what the star meant. They knew that the star meant that a new king had been born. So then, when they were following the star, they stopped at King Herod's castle. And they went into his castle. And then they said, Okay, King Herod, we heard that there is a new baby boy here. So then King Herod was like, hmm, what do you mean? <laughs> and then the three wise men were like, you don't have a baby king? So then they thought of following the star this time. And while they were following the star, King Herod said, oh, and when you find a new baby king, tell me where he is so that I can praise him too. But he was just trying to trick the three wise men. They started following the star, and the star led them to the stable where baby Jesus was born. And when they saw baby Jesus, they gave him some gifts, like gold, myrrh, and frankincense. Now, they had to go back to King Herod and report what they saw like where baby Jesus was born. But then an angel stopped them and said, do not go back to King Herod. So then the three wise men, they went to home on a different road. When King Herod realized that the three wise men didn't come back to report back to him, then he got mad and he yelled at his soldiers, kill every boy which is under two years old. Suddenly, an angel appeared to Joseph and said, Take your family and go to Egypt, and do not return back to your home until I tell you it is safe. So then, Joseph and Mary and baby Jesus, they all went to Egypt. After some years, the angel reported back to Joseph and said, You can go back to your homeland. King Herod has died. And then they went back to their land, like their home. Yeah, home. And that was the story of baby Jesus. And that's it all, my busy bees. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And story. Yeah. And for more such videos, please like, share, and really please subscribe. Oh, and leave a comment below what you liked about this story. Bye. Bye-bye and Merry Christmas! Da, da, okay, bye! Bye-bye!